all right guys so hey we are back here with another video um i know i've been messaging a lot of you in the comments um about the verizon update to the galaxy note 9 um i do understand just as i read and i was had the understanding that we would be able to do the ota update um after the method that we installed for the last um uh pi update the one that ends in csaa so uh, what we're going to have to do is actually we are going to have to sideload the new firmware onto the SD card again. Um, and actually this particular firmware um, is actually listed on Verizon's website. So the last update that we did, they never actually listed that firmware update on the website. And it looks like because they were making some changes to it. So in a new update, looks like there is some performance changes and also a security patch. So um we are back on um, xda developer site on this particular thread right here it says that this is the link for the ss-n960 ous q1csaa2 u1csb3 um dash up uh dot zip so this is the actual link uh to the file and so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um i have all the links posted in the description below uh, but if you're on your computer, uh, you definitely need to make sure that um, this is an Android file host.com link. Uh, so make sure that you just put this link into the web browser on your phone. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on this on the computer uh, just so you see what it looks like. Um, but also I am going to download this on my phone. So if I pull up the Internet here. And so as you can see, um, I have dark mode on right here, but this is the same link that's on the website right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on click here to download. And then it's going to give you some more options. Click on primary download. Well, I downloaded this earlier, so I'm just going to overwrite it. Um, basically it's saying that it's already a download with this name, same name. So I'm just going to download that again. All right. So the file is done downloading. So what we need to do is actually go to eFile Explorer. And then what we're going to do is actually click on internal storage. Now your file system may be a little bit different, but it should be in the download folder. And what we are going to do is we're going to find the file that we just downloaded. And so what you're going to do is you're actually going to long press on it. And down at the bottom, you should have options for copy, paste, cut. What we want to do is we want to copy. All right, so after you copy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and up at the top left-hand corner, click the three lines, and then you're gonna click on SD card. Once you click on SD card, down at the bottom, you're gonna hit paste. So then you're gonna see a message that says grant access, and you're gonna hit allow. And now the firmware file is transferring over to the SD card. Now, a simple way of doing this is actually just plugging your phone up to the computer and you could transfer the file over that way but if you don't have a computer or if you don't have access to a computer at the time then this is the process that you need to go by okay now that transfer has been completed so now we're going to go through the process of uh, rebooting the actual phone into recovery mode so we could flash this uh, update to the phone. So what we're doing now is we actually um, using uh, the same instructions from last time with uh, being able to, we've already copied the, um, we've already copied the firmware over to our SD card. So now we actually need to boot our Galaxy Note 9 into recovery mode. All right, so definitely what we're doing now is we definitely need to go ahead and uh, boot our Galaxy Note 9 into recovery mode. Uh, so if you see the instructions here, uh, up under recovery mode, we need to go ahead and power off the phone. I've already powered my phone off. Um, and then what we need to do is actually, uh, with the phone being powered off, we need to press and hold the volume up button, the Bixby button, and then the power button all at the same time um, until it boots into recovery mode. Your phone should now be in stop recovery mode. Um, and let's go ahead and get that process done first. Okay, now once you do that, your phone screen should look like this. 
So what you need to do now is actually use the volume up and down buttons to go to where we need to go to. And so now let's go back to our actual install instruction. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to use the volume down button and go to apply update from SD card. And then what you need to do is actually use the power button to select it. Then we're going to use the um, volume up and down button and you're going to go down to the actual firmware. And then you're going to use the power button to select it. Now down at the bottom, it's going to start going through the process of updating your phone and just let it go through. It could take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Just be patient. All right. So we got some more progress. It looks like uh, it should be done in maybe another five or six minutes. Okay. Now the phone is about to reboot. Okay. So we had the Verizon. Hello. All right. So Android is starting. So if we swipe down and we go to settings, scroll down to about phone. Then we're going to scroll down to software information. The baseband version ends in CSB3. All right, guys. So there you have it. Um, man, uh, it is done uploading. Um, I definitely will be keeping an eye on this over the next couple of days. Uh, just to kind of check out everything, um, but it looks to be moving pretty smooth. This is the Galaxy S10 Plus, and uh, definitely I'll be, you know, doing comparison videos and stuff like that on this. Um, but yeah, uh, so hopefully um, this went as smooth for you as it did for me. Uh, let me know down in the comments, and hopefully we should be good to go as far as in the future um, OTA updates um, but there is no guarantee um, as it was this last time there's no guarantee on whether or not uh, you know we will have to go through this process again uh, but since this is the actual official update that was released by Verizon um, this time and you know it's listed on Samsung's uh, Samsung's mobile website for download and all this different type of stuff I think we should be good to go this time so uh, by that time, the Note 10 will, will have come out <laughs> by the time we receive another update. So um, I definitely be looking forward to upgrading to that. So, hey, uh, again, let me know what you think. Um, glad I was able to get this video out, get the phone updated, and you should be able to do the same for yourself.